Psalms 18.35 Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holden me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Is God gentle? I think he is. I think so too. Thy gentleness hath made me great. <clears throat> the words are capable of being translated, Thy goodness hath made me great. David gratefully ascribed all his greatness not to his own goodness, but the goodness of God. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thy providence is another reading, and providence is nothing more than goodness in action. Goodness is the bud of which providence is the flower. Or goodness is the seed of which providence is the harvest. <laughs> it's almost more than he can bear. <laughs> Some render it thy help, which is but another word for providence. Providence being the firm ally of the saints. About ally. Firm ally. Yeah. <laughs> Providence being the firm ally of the saints, aiding them in the service of their Lord. <laughs> Ally's kind of a nice thing to walk down. Or again, thy humility has made me great. Thy, condes thy, thy <laughs> condescension may perhaps serve as a comprehensive reading, combining the ideas mentioned, including that of humility. It is God's making himself little, which is the cause of our being made great. We are so little that if God should manifest his greatness without condescension, we should be trampled under his feet. But God, who must stoop to view the skies and bow to see what angels do, turns his eye yet lower and looks to the lowly and contrite and makes them great. There are yet other readings, as for instance the Subtuitant, which reads, Thy discipline, thy fatherly correction, hath made me great. While the, the Chaldee paraphrase reads, um, thy word hath increased me. Still, the idea is the same. David ascribes all his own greatness to the condescending goodness of his Father in heaven. May this sentiment be echoed in our hearts this evening, or maybe I should say morning, while we cast our crowns at Jesus' feet and cry, Thy gentleness has made me great. How marvelous has been our experience of God's gentleness. How gentle have been his corrections. How gentle his forbearance. How gentle his teachings. How gentle his drawings. Meditate upon this theme, O believer. Let gratitude awaken. Let, humil let humility be deepened. Let love be quickened ere thou fallest to sleep tonight. The Lord's gentleness. The providence. Um, I always like that word providence. Um, What's it mean? The, the goodness of God What's it mean? makes us great. What providence mean? I think it, what is ordained to happen, what, what is meant to happen. Um, God's greatness. You know, that's, yeah, it's, I know oftentimes we feel God's being <clears throat> harsh, you know, and during uh, a certain storm in our life or whatever, or whatever's happening in your life, is God dealing so 
so harsh with us, so harsh with me. In reality, he was really being gentle with us, you know. Um, you know, the, you know, at times we seem, the kids probably seem that we're being pretty hard on them. But in the long spectrum of things, if they listen and put that into action, it will be simpler, easier you know, the next time around or, or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's actually going to make things easier instead of continuing to toil the hard way. Obviously not everything because we don't know the, the best way for everything but things that we've toiled through and done the hard way and learned over time that this other way is a lot easier you know, it's not that easier is always the better way mm -mm. because it's you know that's not um, mm -hmm. but God doesn't want us to certain things he doesn't want us to continue to just spin our wheels and get nowhere you know he wants us to, to grow in, in him my yoke is easy my burden is light yeah yeah thank you um, and we are like the mules aren't we that <laughs> we don't want to we don't want to wear that yoke we want to do it the hard way you got paper road over here you're scaling the mountain for no reason yep yeah. So, uh, Guess what? I'm going to show you that you was meant to go up the mountains. <laughs> you didn't want the pay, bro? Let's work them legs. Thy gentleness hath made me great. You know, praise God for that. Praise God. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we love and praise you today, Lord. We just give you praise and honor. And you're so, such a great God. Such an awesome God. Father, Simeon, uh, his prayer request this morning, Lord, is you bring the coronavirus under captivity. Bring it to an end, Lord. For your greatness, Lord, you can do that. You can do anything, anything, Lord. Amen. There's nothing you can't do. Nothing too big that God can't do. Uh, we're just calling upon you. I just pray, God, that we would um, keep in prayer that um, we would create an atmosphere, Lord, that you would be um, most welcomed in, Lord. You are always welcomed in this home, Father. We just pray for um, that our minds and our hearts would be, uh, you know, accepting of the, the Word of God Saturday. Father, we pray that, uh, that you would bring your truth to, you know, full truth to, to all of us that are truly seeking you. We would keep our minds and our hearts open to you, God. Allow your word to speak to our hearts, to our minds, Lord. Father, we give you the praise and honor today. In your high name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.